Hey, what's going on? What's going on, guys? This is Wes here. Uh, all right, so just wanted to quickly show uh, just a cool feature that uh, there is within you know your ATAC clients uh, and TAC server, right? And that is let me before I get into it, let me show you what we got here, right? So you know we're gonna call this client number one. So if you notice here, client number one, he is not connected to anything. He's not connected to Wi-Fi. He's actually on airplane mode. This guy is connected to nothing at all other than this little device right here. And how do we know that? If I come over here and I start pinging that antenna, you'll see that that antenna is going to start flashing because it's pinging back and not, you know back and forth to know uh, to be able to know which unit are you connected to. So that's that's a cool feature. You'll be able to know a. Hey, this is the antenna that I'm connected to because every time I ping, it pings the unit. All right, so that out of the way, this guy, to recap, this guy is connected to no Wi-Fi, no LTE, nothing. This guy is on airplane mode, only connected to this gold antenna on Bluetooth. All right, device number two. Device number two is on LTE. This guy is also connected to a gold antenna. How do we know that? Again, we go back here and we ping on that antenna. That antenna is pinged, so that means that it's paired to this device. Now, client one and client two are talking to each other over these items right here, go antennas, right? Uh, now, before getting before getting too deep in the weeds, right? Uh, there is a plugin for these, right? It's called the Go Antenna Consumer Plugin. Now, uh, fortunately, uh, as of right now, this plugin is restricted to you know. Uh, individuals in the mill gov kind of uh you know spectrum who have access to tech maps all right um so yeah that's that just wanted to show something real cool right uh but uh yeah unfortunately if you don't have a mill or gov kind of address and can get access to tech maps yeah this is going to be a little bit you know out of reach for you but nonetheless it's pretty cool stuff because Eventually, eventually these plugins are going to start becoming uh, publicly available for everyone. So, just wanted to you know show you something that's pretty cost effective, a way to get guys to communicate with each other and also bridge the gap between you know local communications through these and communications with a server. Now, let me go a little deeper into client number two. Client number two while being connected to this he is also connected to the server and you can see that he is connected to the server because you'll see the little green dot down there on the bottom right corner that will tell you that there he is connected to the server this guy right here you can see that little red dot that means he's not connected to the server he's not connected to anything this guy is now what's happening here is client number three client number three he is only connected to the server, but you will notice that this guy right here, he is seeing everyone. You know, this guy is literally seeing everyone. There he is, and there's the other two guys who are right down here. Now, this guy, same deal. This guy, he is seeing, he is seeing himself and the other two guys because this guy can see the guy on a gotenna but he can also see the guy on the tax server because they're both connected to a tax server all right now you'll notice that this guy right here this guy right here can only see himself and his little buddy right here those are the only two people that he can see he can only he see himself and then the guy right here connected to the other gotenna However, the reason why this guy right here who is not connected to a Gotenna can see client number one is because client number two, while being connected to the server, is forwarding the messages that are coming through here. The PLI that is coming through the Gotenna mesh, it's going getting multicasted up to the server. So that's why you got this fancy client over here being able to see all of them. So now you can have an X amount of completely off-grid clients 
with a client that's just within the reach of cell service now this guy is going to be able to forward up to the server all the PLI from these guys that are on complete off-grid comms uh, just want to show that capability because it's pretty cool all right uh, yeah there's that uh, like I said this plugin is only available for military government personnel who have access to tech maps all right uh, if you can get access to tech maps you can get access to the plugin to communicate with these all right so there's that uh, just want to show that real quick because I think it's pretty cool this is what my this is what my RPI FTS setup uh, falls around on right is the ability to have off-grid comms and being able to relay those comms through a device that's bridging the gap between off-grid comms and server comms so pretty cool this guy can't see this guy this guy does see this guy but this guy can't talk to this guy. That's the only drawback here. This guy can literally, I can come over here and I can drop a point, boom. I can drop a point right there. And I can go to that point that I just dropped. And I'm gonna send that and I'm gonna broadcast it. When I broadcast that, you will see that it popped right here. Because like I said, that one device is forwarding the data to the to the server so you can see that this guy received it even though this guy is only on Wi-Fi this guy is on LTE both of these guys are connected to the same server though but you'll see that the point that I just dropped here got received by this guy and this guy just pushed it up to this guy so yeah that's pretty cool uh, without getting uh, too deep into multicasting and UDP TCP differences and all that craziness uh, yeah this guy can forward information up to this guy but then this guy cannot talk to this guy now this guy doesn't necessarily need to talk to this guy because this guy just want to have full awareness of what's going on from these guys down on the ground so it's more of a this is more of a headquarters command type of setup here to where you can have full visibility of these guys through a guy that's being a proxy uh, for the server uh, which is pretty cool but yeah, uh, I'm making this too long, so I'm just going to cut it right here. Thanks, guys. Peace.